another day. It is another video. Um, I'm filming this video before I've released the track day event, um, but this will be coming up after that. Yeah, back working on the track car. Um, post event damage report. These tires are one event old. They were brand new when I went to that event. And you can see from all the backies we were doing, these tires are wrecked. Um, I got my mate Jay hit his wheel with these brand new VSXs, VSXXs I just painted. So that sucks. Um, bit of tire, bit of belt slap. Um, I actually popped the tire. Uh, what else? Someone transitioned and got me. So sick. Whoever done that, don't know. Tori whacked off my pod. Freaking asshole. <laughs> Again, popped another tire, more belt slap, wrecked my over fender, um, pulled this guard in. So I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do to be honest. But all in all, it was an absolutely amazing event. I was so happy with how the car went. Um, pretty much no issues. Boy, I was a bit bad. Every second time I'd go out, I'd probably have to top it up. Um, and I was, I was filling up like maybe a liter and a half of oil um, each, each run every second run sort of thing so i'm gonna have to i think i'm gonna end up doing some sort of return like extra head drain i'm gonna weld maybe some dash 10 or dash 12 fittings to the cam covers on the side at the front and drain them back to the sump so it means i'm gonna pull the sump off which one of those jobs which i don't really want to do but just to save me having to top up the oil every every few laps sucks but this video we have been given this um, hectic shifter from Speed Tech. So as you can see, it's this crazy billet shifter. Um, it's got a lockout for first gear. When you try to go to first, you push in this button and it pulls it up so you can actually get it in, as you can see right here. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I tried to do it before the event, um, but you gotta drop the box down and on the top of the box, there is some Torx bolts right there. Um, and I ended up actually stripping them. So I gotta pull the box out. So that's what we're going to do, rip into that, Not too much talking, let's get into it. Ended up going shopping, so that's why I'm going to change the clothes. Um, first thing you've got to do, obviously you know, you pull out the shifter surround, all that stuff. So I'll pop that off, pull the shifter out, take the shifter out so there's nothing there, and then I will rip into it. Tail shaft out, exhaust off, um, just so I can lower the motor back a bit. Um, drop subframe a little bit, undo the engine mounts, data motor. That's pretty much it. Wiring and it'll pop straight out. I'm gonna try, I'll kind of try rip into it. So time lapse, I'm gonna try do half an hour. So it is currently 5.37. So I reckon 6.10, I'll have this gearbox out. So enough talking, let's get into it and let's see if I can do that. box out um, with all the filming and stuff it ended up taking an extra half an hour so I was like it normally takes a half an hour to get it out but this time took an hour to get it out because of all the filming and I also broke my um my bloody tripod by accident so that one's that's gone um, you can see this is the casing I'm talking about so this is a speed tech shifter that replaces it basically just like like that. As you can see, it's mounted way lower. Um, I've been told it's like, I think it's, I can't remember if it's 30 or 50% um, shorter 
throw. So I'll, um, you can see the hex bolts that I ruined just because it was way too tight. So I'll get these off, um, see how I can, I'll try and get them off without having to weld a nut or anything like that. Get that off, fit this up, see how it feels. Um, and then I'll probably just put a rag over that to put it back up and then put this in, in the car to show that you can actually get it in without pulling the gearbox out. It's just, yeah, I um, messed up these. That's what I'll do, start pulling this thing apart and get it test fitted up. stock base off um, and I've just test fitted up the new Speedtech shifter one the first gear lockout um, I had some issues I ended up stripping this bolt and that's so I had to weld a nut to it took a few goes to get it but we got it um, just playing around with it it feels pretty good um, if you don't you can't go to first gear without pushing this button in so if you're in second gear and you're trying to go to third and actually go to first you're not gonna get in gear and over rev your motor so it's kind of a safety, but I am happy as it looks so cool. Um, pretty keen to get it in the car and test it, but I've got to pull it back apart before putting the gearbox in because I won't be able to actually fit it in, obviously. Um, but, but yeah, I'm happy as with it. I actually feel like a race car driver now. Look at that. Oh God. Yeah, it feels solid, so. Anyway, time will tell um, once we get it in. Once I get it back in the car and actually driving, we'll see if it um, if it feels as good as it feels right now. I'm thinking about chucking heavy duty springs in here to make it a bit sturdier, a bit stronger. Um, but I need to see if I can find them first. But sick, I'm happy. I'm so impressed with how good this thing looks. Looks solid as. Want to feel my shaft, Kalani? <laughs> I'm sorry about the noise, the background noise, my brother's using the, my brother's using the pressure washer. Um, but right now we are going to pull out, pull off the clutch, um, pull the fireball off, I'll pull the fireball and the clutch off so I can get to the rear main. I'm pretty sure it's got a leak. Uh, this is that rear main I, I um, couldn't find when I was doing the daily. So this one I'm pretty sure is, le this one I'm pretty sure is leaking. So I'm gonna pull it apart and have a look. If you, ha if you have a look, there's, Fair bit of oil around here. Um, could be from the sump. Yeah, I'm gonna do new drain from the cam covers. I'll have to drop the sump anyway. But while the gearbox is out, I may as well pull out the clutch and do the remain. So I'll quickly rip that off. Um, I've got a limited time today, so we get this thing out. Got the flow on the clutch off. Um, oh, I actually found some material inside of the clutch, and it turns out this is my spigot bush. Well, well, what's left of it anyway? So, somehow I have shattered my spigot bush. Um, unsure how. Also, had a legit no idea. So, I guess it's kind of good that I pulled this thing out. Clutch and the flow will look okay. They have got a bit of burn marks. Um, Basically looks the same on the clutch discs as well as the flywheel. Can't really feel any pitting. Um, seems okay. Uh, this is the rear main I'm gonna chuck in. Um, but I don't have a spigot bush on me because the one I used was on the daily. So I need to wait till tomorrow. I have to order one. Hopefully they have some in stock. So I'll do the rear main. And that's pretty much all I, that's all I can do. So 
basically remade. What you want to do is get a, a thin, sharp screwdriver, just basically punch it into the corner right there, fully get it, um, pry it out. Uh, pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty annoyed. I was hoping to get this thing back in today, get it running, but that's all right. It means I get to finish early, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'll do that, drop it down, push it out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I start putting everything back together. So yeah, see you then. We are back, working on the track car, got the gearbox out, as you guys seen, obviously. Um, I've had to pull this shifter apart, the Billet Speed Tech shifter. Put this base on, and then we're gonna chuck the, chuck the spigot bush in. As you can see, got the soaking in oil. Chuck the gearbox back in, we'll hopefully get this thing running tonight. We'll see. Um, all depends. Anyway, let's get into this, get this shifter done. Got the gearbox in, got the shifter sort of in, it's a bit loose. Um, really awkward to film as well as I'm kind of in a rush because I'm about to go out. Um, but the lockout isn't quite working now because it's loose. But this thing feels nuts. It feels so solid and it looks so cool. Um, the gearbox is actually hanging down real low, so that's why it's, it is so low. Just so I can get in there and put this thing together. Um, yeah, that's pretty much why it's loose because all the bolts are loose and stuff, but it feels so solid, man. I'm actually really impressed. I'm absolutely hanging to take this thing for a drive. Unfortunately, it will not be, it won't be tonight, but tomorrow, maybe. It is a public holiday, so maybe not, considering coppers might, oh, fucking hell, I just pushed my clutch down. Slave isn't even on yet. Um, but yeah, super stoked. I'm happy as well. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Um, finish this thing back up and yeah hopefully take this thing for a rip even up the driveway and we did just hit 2,000 subscribers so a massive thank you to everyone um for liking the videos just watching them in general um i feel like it's a big a big feat getting 2,000 subs but hopefully we'll keep going you know the sky's not even nah fuck, the sky ain't the limit sky is not the limit we um we're gonna try to take this um all the way i want to try expand a bit more um maybe start doing merch and stuff like that if anyone's interested um yeah i want to try get some stickers made up uh and yeah i would, wouldn't mind taking this a bit further just because i do enjoy it as much as i struggle with to edit and struggle to film and it takes up so much time um i do enjoy it so if you are excited for that leave a comment down below um hit the like button subscribe and hopefully we can keep pushing this further and maybe we'll uh, we'll get this thing out for a cheeky burnout, uh, two thousand sub. We'll see. We'll see. See if we can grab third in the driveway. I wonder if Mum might be um, a bit pissed about that. But anyway, we'll be back tomorrow to finish the shifter. Well, I'm back. It has been a slow progress getting this gearbox done. Um, unfortunately, just haven't really had much time to work on it. I sort of work on it when I can. Been pretty lucky, and there hasn't been need to be any jobs done. So. I threw the business, my, my old man's business, um, which is good, so I could kind of get this thing in the shed. Um, but I went to the beach today, and I absolutely got destroyed. Um, I'm not, it's not feeling good, um, but I was rolling the car down, and I also noticed there's a goddamn snail. Goddamn snail on my front quarter. But we've got the gearbox up now, um, Gotta jump in and see how. 
Come on, let me jump in first. Oh God, it burns. Oh. So, this is my first look at the shifter. It doesn't look like it's hitting, but it's very close. Um, may have to give it a bit of persuasion. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not hitting, but this thing's pretty much all tight now, and it feels unreal. I love the way that feels. Super solid. Um, there's a little bit of slop there just for clearances and stuff like that, but besides that, it feels mickey, and it feels really good. Right, another night of doing pretty much stuff all. Um, but I got the shifter all in. I'm going to have to back off the this bolt under here it's a, it's a allen key bolt and chuck some loctite on it because it's yeah gonna come loose um but it feels okay <sighs> i forgot what i was saying my brother just had a sook at me about something um oh god i can remember anyway it feels all right um i just i can't really drive it i have one bolt and nut loose on the tail shaft because i had the handbrake up so i couldn't tighten it so i have to do that again when it's on the hoist tomorrow um and it's got no oil in the gearbox, so I can't drive it, can't run it tonight. Um, but yeah, it will get there. We'll get there eventually, it's taken way too long. Um, but yeah, at least now, I loosened off a little bit. Um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. I love slapping nice big shafts. What saying? Um, but it looks sick, it matches the handbrake a little bit. I am super keen. To try this out anyway once again i'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day whenever i get a chance to work on this thing i'll see you guys when i see you all uh, right so next day we're back in the shed we are working on this thing we've dropped the gearbox we've dropped the gearbox once again um just because there's a bolt uh here for the shifter um which i should have done when i first put it together but i forgot i've got a Oh, I've got to focus. So I pulled that bolt out right there. I've got to lock tight it, which I should have done when I first put it together. So that is what I'm doing now. So now I've got the gearbox down. I can get up there, pour a bit of Loctite in that little gap, and then I can put it back up and chuck oil in the gearbox, tighten this one bolt and tail shaft, which I will do right now, because I know I'll get it. So I'll tighten that bolt, drop it down, do this Loctite thing, blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. So there we go, as you can see, I've pulled it, put it in fourth gear so I can get it back. I'm gonna just dab a bit of red, oh God, my, I don't know how to say things. I'm gonna dab a little bit of red Loctite onto it um, and then screw it in till I find a happy place. And then we can put everything back together, get it running, maybe go for a drive. We will see because it is actually raining and this thing is filthy and I just, I haven't got time. I really don't have time to be driving this car. Um, so I was cleaning, I, this gearbox has taken, this shifter has taken so long, just cause it's so busy. Um, but whatever, enough complaining. I'll get this thing done and then, yeah, we'll see. Get oil in the gearbox, that's the next, next job after this. Gearbox up, oil in, exhaust on, then drive, maybe. God damn it, got my crowbar um car is all done oils in the gearbox tail shafts done up all of the subframe mounts are done up shift is in lock tied it up um pretty much ready to go for a drive i end up checking the steering components i ended up topping up the oil um emptying the catch can again um it, it's draining a lot so i'm gonna try to do boost dock uh cam splash plates as well as their baffle kit um, and probably gonna, I'll probably mention this, I'm probably gonna try a weld a uh, Dash 12 fitting right here. Don't know how I'm gonna run it, but I wanna try um, get an extra drain as well as do one on this side and drop that one down to the, the block there or maybe even the sump because the sump's gonna have to come off anyway, um, which is annoying. But you know, it is what it is. When you have a high power RB or if you have a high power, any, any motor that's sort of got high power, revving high as well, like the revs, I think pretty high for an RB. Um, you will have you know, issues filling up the head and stuff like that. Um, the restrictors I have aren't enough, as well as the rear head drainer aren't enough. So it is what it is. It's the price you pay for having a sick RB.
<laughs> um, anyway, the reason I've got this crowbar in my hand as well is because, as you can see over here, I actually can't see my video. Um, you can see the guards pulled in a little bit. I did try and fix it a little bit. I thought I might actually try to film it. Um, give her a bit of a, a bit of a pry down like that. Pop her out. Should be okay down here. A bit more of a pop. There you go. Good as new. Look at that. If anyone has any front guards for R33 stock or uh, stock or wide body over fenders, what do you want to call them? Hit me up because I should probably buy them. Um, although I probably shouldn't because I'm going to wreck them anyway. I think I have a driver's side. I'm just able to get a passenger side. But I don't want to bother spraying that one until I get a new one. Another one I can spray them at the same time. Um, if anyone has a passenger side coupe skirt, I may buy that. Um, yeah. I'll show you this interior, the shifter. Shifter's all in, as you can see. Nice and stock OEM looking. Um, it ends up not hitting the gearbox tunnel, which is good. So yeah, I might take this thing, take it for a quick little drive, maybe even up the driveway to see how it feels. So yeah, ah, oh, I noticed this in the truck day as well. Bloody cracked my windscreen, got a chip. Got a chip in the windscreen, so, so that sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, got some things happening. Things behind the scenes, all that crap. Um, I had a... Yeah, I've got a new car. I've got a new car coming. Um, which I will reveal soon. Um, which is pretty cool. Something I need, something I've been wanting for a long time. Um, yeah, maybe we might chuck the Neo in it. The Neo might go in that, might not, we'll see. But yeah, anyway, let's um, get this thing started. And... Maybe go for a drive, maybe just got the driveway, we don't know, you'll find out. You'll find out in a second. Um, yeah, start this beast. turn the car off because it is a bit vibrating um, and I wouldn't, couldn't get the focus so yeah when it does start up I'm sorry if it's a bit vibrating it's a bit out of focus but I've got the flash on so you can see the shifter I'm um, just gonna be cruising maybe we'll see
back from the drive. It was pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with how it feels. The first gear lockout doesn't actually work because I think now that it's in the car, it's real solid. It can just get past pretty easy. So that's maybe something they've got to redesign and um, make it a bit better because this is, I think, like, it is a final stage of their testing ones, I think. So it's not that hard. It could just make the pin longer um, or whatever, who knows. But it doesn't crunch in the fifth gear now, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, uh, it feels really nice. It's short, really short, um, feels super solid. I'm pretty happy. This thing does drive like absolute ass now though. Um, the alignment's out and stuff and who knows what else. I love that car. God, it's such a pain in the ass to drive. Um, I don't know, probably, I don't even know what this video is gonna be. It's probably just gonna be about the shifter. So I should probably do a better rundown of this shifter. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe. Stuff it. Nah, the video is just gonna be of this shifter. Um, hopefully this thing's pretty much ready for the next event. I'll probably just do, obviously do a service and stuff like that. God damn, my arm is killing me. Ugh. Um, I'd say to service it. Probably service the diff and the gearbox has fresh oil, so just different engine. Um, need to, front tires one's gonna leave. I don't really care about that. Um, yeah, I am super keen for the next event. Battle Royale, uh, keep a read, Battle Royale has been pushed back to next year. So still in second in points, but just the second ever, the second round is going to be, um, oh, come on. the second round is gonna be in February, 2022. Um, what else is there to talk about? Got the head, got the head gasket, head start for the street car. So that'll hopefully be next on the list, but I've got some jobs I need to do first before ripping into that. So who knows when you'll see that thing next. Um, yeah. That's going to be it, I think. Oh, oh, oh. So that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video of me dropping the gearbox out, doing the shifter, stuffing around. Little cruise. Um, yeah, anyway. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a like, give it a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you out. I lied, I'm back, bitches. So um, I've got an umbrella here because it's raining. Melbourne weather is absolutely horrible. So... Um, I did, I may have mentioned a little bit that I have got a new car, um, and I may as well just release it into this video, just because, why not? So, been wanting to get one of these for a very long time, um, I will say it is a tow car, so I've been using my mum's X5, which is over there, I've been using that thing for the past three, four years, it's a V8 and it chugs fuel, um, and I finally was like, you know what, stuff it, I'm trying to... You know, do YouTube videos. I want to go do all these interstate events. I'm going to bite the bullet, buy my own car, and here we are. Yeah, so it is a 2018 Nissan Navara. Uh, it's only an SL. It's got not the best interior. It's no sunroof, which is hella lame. But it's got a few extras, like it's got the bull bar, winch, a snorkel. It's got um, uh, upgraded suspension. I don't know what, what brand. I don't know what brand it is but it is a bit, um, a little bit higher than factory. Um, has a canopy, it's got roof racks, as you can see. But yeah, it's silver, so it matches my car, plus Kalani's car, so silver is the way to go. It's not the right silver, but it's still close enough. Um, but yeah, so super stoked about this. Um, it's been, it's actually a massive move for me. It's not cheap for one. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. I do plan on possibly making my own snorkel and my own intake pipes on it and stuff. I do want to do DPF delete as well as a straight pipe and have it dumped out the bottom here. Um, something like that should look pretty cool. It'll be something as well, a bit more content maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll film on this thing. But yeah, your boy's pretty happy. Pretty stoked about it. Um, but yeah, so you can look forward to more interstate events. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will hopefully get a video out soon, sometime during this week coming up. Just a small one, just, um, you probably know what it's gonna be, but I'll let you, people who don't know, have a little sit there and ponder and think about it, figure out what I'm gonna post. It should be good, so hopefully it is. <laughs> um, yeah, shifter feels sick. 
New tow car is sick. Man, I talk so much bull crap. I need, a, I need to write a script down because I struggle so hard. I need water dripping on me too. Anyway, I will hopefully have a better video. Why am I holding this inside? <laughs> I hopefully have a better, better, I hopefully have a, fuck my, what? I'm also not high, I have hay fever. So I will hopefully have a better video up of the speed tech shifter in the new coming days, I don't know. Possibly, we'll see. Um, may have an event lined up at the end of this month, which should be an absolute party. So that'd be cool, to, first time towing with that, with the new Navara, which will be dope. I want to modify my trailer to lower down the tire rack so it's a bit, le bit less wind, wind resistance for better fuel economy because I noticed with with my wheels on the trailer and with them off, there's a massive difference in um, how how much fuel you use and stuff like that, which makes sense. You know, it's a big bloody wall of tires. Um, but yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I'll hopefully get something out soon with Speed Tech. I'll hopefully get onto the street car very soon. Um, now that this video is going to be, going to be out, I can actually rip into that. Um, as well as I got the mates, RP3 here, got to do work on. Um, it's actually my old car, my my second ever car. The motor in the track car is actually out of this. So story time. I bought my silver series two coupe. I rode it off. I bought this. I pulled the motor out of my series two coupe, put it into this, pulled this motor out, rebuilt it, put it into the coupe, then eventually put it into the sedan. Um, and then yeah, this thing got me in a lot of trouble. Impounds, fines. Um, Lots of fines, yeah, corrections orders, all that crap. Um, it was on the news, it was pretty cool. The car, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't cool, it was not a good time. Um, but yeah, I definitely miss this car. Has a sunroof, which is dope. But you know, enough talking bull crap. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. See you later.